back to Saturn. Yeah! Ah, oh, double spurter! <laughs> yeah! Howdy, Rombo here in Arizona. I'm back in Area 51, where those aliens have gone back to Jupiter, but they left me here. They saw me and took off. Look what I've got today. The Tokarev TAR-12, 12 gauge AR style blaster. You want to see it shoot? <laughs> of course you do. Oh, ah, yeah. Look at it, blast those, <laughs> blast those uh, root beer jugs back to Jupiter. This is a powerhouse, ladies and germs. I love it. It's a low price point, and it's on loan to me from guns.com. So check out guns.com for uh, availability of these guns, news and new and used. I'd like to cover it for you today, show you all about it. Tokarev, what the heck is that? Tokarev USA imports these, and they did a great job of designing this gun to resemble the AR-15 style gun. Bolt reciprocates back here, it's gas operated, uh, all hidden inside. The gun is uh, nickel marine finish, very uh, uh, corrosion resistance, uh, synthetic uh, uh, polymer stock in the rear, uh, nice grip. I wish you could feel that grip. That grip is sticky. It is nice. It has a finger groove here and uh, fits my hand very well. It's a long gun, 37 and a half inches from one end to the other. Uh, that's good for aiming, I think, for uh, control. Uh, the the uh, controls, by the way, are very similar to an AR. Your magazine releases here, bolt handle, and I'm flipping it over. Safety, very much like an AR's. Safe and fire. Magazine release, AR once again. Now, uh, nice rubber butt plate in the rear. These uh, sliders are for a cheek piece that you can put on. It's a rising cheek piece that you can buy as a separate feature from Tokarev. Fits on top here, comes up and down. Nice feature. Wish I had it today. <laughs> uh, the gun comes with three choke tubes. You believe this? I guess you can take it pheasant hunting if you want to. Uh, improved cylinder modified in full. We've got one in the gun right now. Uh, it's not exactly what I call a hunting shotgun, but it would be great for old home defense, truck defense, uh, just going out shooting pop cans. Look at some of the features. This gun is customizable right out the yin yang. Look at the top. A uh, Pick rail, 11 inches long. My gosh, you could put all kinds of stuff on there, from red dots, uh, scope, I suppose. The sights you see come with the gun. They're polymer, fold down, front and rear sights. That's slick, so my red dot could go here, up above, and have these in, rever in reserve. Take the red dot up, pop these up, and they're like rifle sights. Hope you can see that. Adjustable for windage in the rear, adjustable for elevation on the front. Nice post there. Uh, very precise, very accurate. I like those sights. I'm a rifle guy. I like rifle sights. Cool idea, Tokarev. Take a look at the front. Uh, towards the muzzle, there are, count them, one, two, three, four pick rails. Holy smokes, what do you want to put up front there? I think I'll put four different, three different uh, colored flashlights on there and a laser sight on top. Then I can light up anything in three colors and have a laser on it. And we're not done yet. Another pick rail on the bottom. What do you suppose would go there? A vertical grip. I don't have one today, but wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I could trick this gun out very well. Now, we're shooting it today, or I'm shooting it today, uh, based on the way it comes. This is the basic gun. Comes with one five-round magazine. Very much an AR magazine. Inserts as such, drops out, like so. You want to use high-velocity uh, shotgun shells with this gun. So, this is a very good shotgun shell for shooting trap and skeet. It's a low-velocity double-A shell. This is not what you want to shoot in this Tokarev. 
So I'm going to show you why, and I've got one loaded right on top, followed by four bismuth meat eaters by Federal, three inch magnum goose stoppers. <laughs> well, there's no geese here today, but I'm going to shoot four of them, and I hope I live to tell you about it because they kick. But the first one probably will jam. That's the light round. So, as a demonstration, we're going to shoot some jugs here. Oh my gosh! Look at the jugs those aliens left behind! And we still have a few. Well, I'm going to take a few jugs out. So, load the tow craft like so. Rack the bolt back. Now we've got a low velocity round in first. And I'm going to take out that first jug right there. Yeah! Very light kick. Let's see. Well, I think that worked. How about that? Okay, it's breaking in. It actually cycled that light shell. So, okay, wrong again, Ronbo. Now I've got some uh, high velocity bismuth. Watch how these kick. Yeah! Back to Jupiter with bismuth! Oh, it didn't cycle that one. Yeah! Back to Saturn! Yeah! Ah, oh, double spurter! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! That was four shots, three of bismuth and one of light velocity. My gosh, this gun can handle it. There was uh, uh, one failure to feed there, but the gun's new. We haven't shot it much today. I old it, but probably needs to be broken in a bit. So, uh, Tokarev. Tokarev is uh, a guy back in the 1930s, Fedor Tokarev. And he designed a uh, handgun. That's where he made his... Uh, himself famous. The uh, Russians in 1930 were still using revolvers. Do you believe that? So they hired Tokarev to build a semi-automatic pistol called the TT-30, later the TT-33. That gun soldiered on until 1952. Very good design. Five rounds of Fiocchi buckshot. Nine pellets. You can even see them there. I like Fiocchi. They uh, keep their rounds, uh, rounds uh, clear so you can see inside. We'll use these to do a little bit of pattern testing now with the uh, uh, Tokarev. By the way, five, we get one five-round mag. We have two here today. You can buy from Tokarev a 10-round mag that sticks out longer. There are lots of aftermarket magazines out there for the uh, AR-12 that fit the Tokarev, including a 20-round drum. Hoorah! I'd love to try that. All right, let's do a little pattern testing because we might want to go goose hunting with buckshot. No, we won't do that. But I've got two uh, pattern boards up front. I like to close the bolt first and rack one in. That magazine is pretty stiff. But I tell you, the trigger, by the way, is 10 pounds, 9 ounces. It's a stiff trigger. Length of pull, 14 inches. Gun fits me perfectly. And I mentioned it was 37 half inches long, quite a long gun. Weighs uh, eight pounds empty. So with the shells in, we're over eight pounds. All right, back to patterning. I'm gonna aim at the center of that uh, target on the left. And that's a bit low. Well, I attribute that to the uh, sights being up on top and the barrel down below. So I'm gonna aim a little higher on the other pattern target. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy there, target. Uh, you can get an idea of what those nine pellets look like up close. So if I had to defend my uh, seven yards, I could do it with this gun for sure. Uh, we've got uh, one root beer jug left on that mountain up there. Wow, back to Jupiter you go. And a water jug here as well. <laughs> Wipes it out. Yeah! Held open on the last shot. That pattern was a little bit higher. What a powerhouse! This gun has got it where it counts. Uh, break it in a little bit, oil it, I think. Uh, manual says it's seven or eight steps to take completely apart, clean it, oil it. It is extremely lightweight feeling. Uh, lots of polymer here. Eight pounds, doesn't feel like eight pounds. Feels more like five, but it is. Uh, adjustable choke tubes. Uh, for the money, 
price point's very low. Check out guns.com where guns like this are available. You won't believe what you can buy this for, especially if you find a used one. They are great. I like it, and it'll do well for you. Go shooting. It's fun. Thanks for coming to Arizona and blowing up some root beer. Hoorah!